Good morning, everyone. I have just seen this minibus here. Look at that. That would be a dream. It looks so nice. Just imagine touring around Australia in one of these. I think it would just be amazing. It doesn't look like anyone's in there. I would love to have a look. Okay, the keys, the keys are in there. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Here we go. Uh, uh, shit, okay. I hope no one saw me. Shit, okay, okay. Um, fuck, how do I do this? Okay, uh, that. That. Okay, here we go. Whee! Whoa! What are you oh, doing? Oh, shit! Okay, clearly I was joking. We have rented this for the next couple of days. Uh, obviously this is Everett, this is Josh, and Hello. we are, yeah, gonna be traveling around Australia in this for the next couple of days. We're going from our home in Melbourne down to Sydney, but doing a lot of stops on the way. Let's do this, this should be a really fun road trip. Let's go, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we are at Puffing Billy Railway in Belgrave. Um, this should be super exciting. We don't actually have a ticket at the moment, so we're hoping, fingers crossed, we can make it and get one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we've parked the van and um, yeah, we'll see what happens, but <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Well, so it appears that the only train today was at 11 o'clock. It was completely booked and it is now half 12. So we completely missed that one. And it, we're told that it's fully booked for the rest of the week. So it doesn't look like that'll be happening today, but it's still cool to be at the station. It looks cool. Um, it looks like we might have to do it another day, um, but we'll keep moving. Hopefully we'll go into the Dengadong Ranges and see what that's like. I am quite disappointed in that actually, that it, it would have been really cool to see, um, but we move. Josh is currently scrambling, trying to find something for us to do, but uh, I guess I will give him a hand. Um, it would be cool to go and see the bridge anyway, but I don't know if there's a road there. He's currently scrambling, looking for anything to do, and Emma is guzzling water. Keep hydrated. So after a disastrous attempt to try and get onto the Puffing Billy Railway, we should have planned way better for that. We've driven about 15 minutes up the road um, to Dendenong's uh, National Park. Uh, we're just going to walk around and see what we can find. There's um, a thousand step trek thing that you can do. Uh, so we'll take you along on that. Let's go. There is a play park with nobody in it. There's a play park with nobody in it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like I'm gonna fit through most of this, but let's go. <laughs> okay. Down the slide we go. Whee! <laughs> okay, that's enough falling around. They are over there waiting for me to stop being an idiot. That was fun. <laughs> so 
So when we started walking, this was at 8,300 steps. Let's see if it is actually 1,000 steps or if it's gonna be more than that. Okay, so it turns out that there was a short little hike to the 1,000 steps. So we're gonna do that now. Let's go. You can see the tree behind me that went across the path that had fallen over has been cut so that it's still preserved. It's massive. You're definitely not like moving that one anytime soon. But they've just like cut it so that the path can still go through so you can still walk. Pretty cool. Let's keep moving up these 1,000 steps. Just a couple more meters to go. Well, yeah. 200 to be exact. And then we'll be at the top. I'm hoping to get some drone shots at the top, but um, we'll see, see what happens. So we made it to the top. Um, the view from the top, you couldn't really see much because the trees were so tall. So I sent the drone up and this is that footage. So it looks really cool from up there. Um, as Emma would say, the trees look like broccoli <laughs> um, from all the way up there. But um, yeah, we're just on our way back down now. Um, I think back to the van and uh, seeing what our next adventure awaits. Okay then. Back in the van. <sighs> that was a pretty, pretty cool walk. Um, but no. Okay, so the plan is now to go to um, our campsite and find out um, what that situation is going to be like. Um, it's about a two-hour drive, so um, next time you'll see us is when we're there. Oi, oi. Ready. Where are we off to? Uh, we are off to our campsite right now, and I cannot wait to get there. Uh, it's going to be cool, I think. Yeah. It's been a tiring walk, hasn't it? So. Yeah, and it's still quite a long drive. We've still got an hour and 40 minutes of this drive left to go. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we don't fall asleep whilst driving. <laughs> Try not to. But um, no, it's, yeah, hopefully it should be fine. Beautiful. one of the best views I have ever seen. This is fantastic. The sun is like beaming down on these like this valley in between mountains. It looks amazing. We've had to pull over a couple of times. I'll show you some footage that Josh has just taken now. Um, <laughs> he's not very happy about that. Um, but it, honestly, what a drive this is. Like we're staying in the middle of nowhere, but it is worth it. We're about 30 minutes out now from our campsite and my god, the weaving roads, oh it's perfect. Couldn't wish for anything more. finally arrived at the campsite um, after a very treacherous journey in. There was kangaroos jumping across the road, 
um, and also sheer drops either side of us. But it was good fun. Um, but we're here now, we are cooking food. We've got some kangaroo steaks here, we've got some veg, and then some uh, hot dogs over here. Thanks to Emma and myself for, for cooking, and Josh was definitely sorting stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> and not just standing around. <laughs> no. Um, but yes, that's all for today. Um, but we will show you what happens tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> I hit my head. <laughs> oh, I smacked my head.